Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a grid view. This is the layout that we're going to use. First, we're going to drag in a grid view. Go to composite and drag a grid view inside. I'm going to drag it right here. And it takes up the entire screen. That's good. Let's go ahead and name this countries because uh, this grid will be displaying a list of countries along with your flags. We are good with the layout and let's go ahead. I have some basic setup so I'm going to show you that. Mm -hmm. Here inside the source folder I have a class called as country which has the name of the country and also it has an attribute for the drawable resource that we already have in this project. And inside the drawable MDPI, MDPI folder I have flags for a few countries so these are some of the flags. I have a very limited number of countries in here. So we'll be using them. And let's go back to grid view activity to Java. Here you can notice I have a method that returns a list of countries. And uh, each country has a constructor which accepts the name of the country as a string and an integer value which is the drawable resource ID. Now we are going to create a custom adapter which will supply views with the name of the country and the flag of the country. That's the idea. Let's save all the resources and before we create the custom adapter we'll need a view for the grid item. So let's go ahead to layout and I'm going to create a new Android XML file and this will represent a grid item the layout the resource type is layout and we are going to use it for the current project I'm going to name the file as uh, country and I'm going to use a text view that's because uh, we have already learned about compound robles so this text view will be displaying the name of the country and we'll also have a compound robble that can display the country's flag. Click on finish. Here it is. So we have created a new layout called country.xml and this is the layout. You can see this layout has just a text view. Now we're going to add some dummy images and text to this text view. I'm going to give this an ID country and Text is going to be hello world. Okay, and now we are going to use the compound robble property. Scroll down, and uh, here it is. We are going to use this travel talk property. And from the list of property, I'm going to select Australia. And here it is. You can see the draw compound robble is at the center of the screen, whereas the text is aligned to the left. To fix that, we have to set the gravity property. Let's go and look for gravity. And here I'm going to check center. Click on OK. The text is centered, but it, it is still not where we want it. So let's go ahead and change layout parameters. We're going to change match parent to wrap content. And the height will also be wrap content. That way we have it nice and clean. This is the grid item that we're going to use. Save this layout and let's close this. Go back to grid view activity. In this grid view activity, I already have a reference variable for the list of countries that we're going to use. The next step is to create a custom adapter. To create a custom adapter, we're going to create a new private class, private class country adapter extends array adapter and for the generic we're going to pass country so here it is let's go ahead and add a constructor that accepts a list parameter nice and clean I'm going to rename this objects parameter by holding on to the option command and R key this is the shortcut for refactor. I'm going to re rename this objects as countries and press enter. 
there it is and we also need a layout inflator because we'll be inflating the grid item layout which is the country.xml now and then so we're going to declare a layout inflator layout inflator and I'm going to get an instance by calling the layout inflator dot from method and to the context I'm going to pass the context as the parameter the next thing we are going to do is we're going to call the get view method sorry override the get view method get view here it is click OK and this time we're not going to use a holder the reason for that is we're not going to find IDs that's because our layout currently has only one text view and we're going to use that text view directly we will not be using the find view by ID method call in this case so I'm not going to use a holder you'll see how I'm going to do this first thing we're going to do is we're going to call text view country text view is equal to convert view I'm going to import text view and I'm going to typecast this convert view what happens here is I'm going to assign this convert view to the text view if the convert view is equal to null then we're going to inflate the layout which is our dot layout dot country the root is null so that is it and finally we are going to return the country text view so now we have uh, we get the recycled view and if we check if it is null which is if the text view is null we are going to inflate it if not we are going to get the country get item of position so this will return the country that is associated with the given position and we're going to say country text view dot set text country dot get name so we we are assigning the name of the country to this text view and I made a mistake here which is if this is not convert view it should actually be country text view and I'm also going to typecast this so this is good now you can see that we have uh, obtained the country that is associated with the position and we have also set the text property of the country text view the other one we're going to do here is we're going to set the compound robber property set compound troubles with intrinsic bounds left is going to be null and the top get resources dot get trouble which is going to be country dot get flag resource id so we'll be having a draw a drawable at the top and for right pass null and for bottom pass null since we'll be calling this method often let's go ahead and create an instance variable for that private resources resources so that's it resources is equal to get resources and here we're going to call resources dot get raw that's it so this is properly done because uh, we are trying to use the recycled view in a proper way though this adapter does not use a holder it is still efficient we get the recycle view we check if the recycle view is null if it is null we just inflate a new view and we get the country that is associated with this position and set its name and a drawable to the country text view finally we return the view we are done with this let's go ahead now we need to declare a reference variable for our grid view 
trees grid view let me go ahead and import it let's get a reference to the country's grid view we're calling the find view by id r dot id dot countries i'm going to add a typecast to this and then we have the list of countries here the next thing we're going to do is we're going to set an adapter to the country's grid view so countries grid view dot set adapter of new country adapter context is this and the text view resource id does not have much meaning we're going to use r dot layout dot country and for the list of countries we're going to pass the list of countries that's it save it and let's go ahead run this application run it as an android application switch to the emulator here it is we have a grid in which we have all the countries listed however there are uh, there are properties that I would like to show you so let's go back to grid view and uh, here you can see we have the number of columns which specifies the number of columns you can also use auto fit or in case if you want two columns you can specify two that really depends upon your preference and there is also, also a horizontal property that specifies the minimum horizontal spacing between two grid items it is usually specified in this device independent pixels I'm going to make it 10 dp and also we have the vertical spacing which specifies the minimum vertical spacing between two grid items vertically I'm going to give this 10 dp as well that's it let's save this and run this program once again switching to the emulator Here it is. This is the modified grid view. So that's how you use a grid view in Android. Uh, basically, the usage of the list view is not much different from the grid view. You use the same kind of custom adapter that is already used with the uh, list view. The only thing is, if you want to have your data items listed in rows, then you have to go for a list item. Whereas, if you want, if you are looking for rows as well as columns, then you might have to use a grid view. If you have any questions on this topic, please feel free to ask. Thank you.